All right, Sagittarius, here is your extended version. Let's get into the page of swords and see what, what let's look more into this person. Guys, if you're just now finding this video, this isn't an extended version to a part one, and I'll link that down in the description box below to get the back uh, story for these cards here. All right, so let's get the message of love. Let's clarify this page of wands, this page of swords. Where so can we find out about this person? Like I said, I feel like this person is watching you. I feel like that there is an element of you intimidating this person. I feel like that this person is um, beginning to understand the level of Like, I think someone is beginning to see this connection for something more than just a typical friendship or romantic partnership. Like, there's something special to this connection. And I feel like that this person is seeing that this person is also going through a spiritual awakening. And with the way that they view you as the hermit, I feel like that this person also uh, feels as if you could help guide them through this spiritual awakening. They really... Um, want to speak to you about an intense new opportunity that they're going through in their life. And um, I do feel like this involves a recommitment. Like, like this person sees you for what you are. In the first part, I said that there was something that they valued about the communication that you guys had. Um, so there was something that I feel like you've told them in the past that is kind of playing out. And um, where they're at in their life right now, they really do look at you as the person that can give them the guidance to get them through something but they don't really want to flat out ask for it um, i don't even think they have the confidence to ask for the flat out information so i feel like that this is a person that may um, come back in to tiptoe around for everyday conversation and in everyday conversation they will um, throw certain questions out there to try to get your in like a question that has nothing to do with the two of you it's something that they're going on in their personal life but they're just trying to get your insight on it so that they can figure out how to show up at this um show up in a situation in their life because they do view you as very wise very wise um so let's see can we get some more clarity on this page of swords yeah, you make this person very nervous, Sagittarius. Even right now, I feel like I'm having to keep reminding myself to calm down, to breathe. It's not that serious. <laughs> like maybe you've gone cold towards this person. child this person definitely feels very childlike uh around you but i also feel as if this person um i don't know maybe this person maybe this person is trying to gain some clarity and some insight as other pertains to their childhood children in their life or children that you guys share together there's something to do about a child um but yeah this person is definitely, definitely um, trying to gain some insight from you. Let's see. They view you as the hermit. I am going to go in and clarify these cards later. But I don't want to spend the bulk of this reading getting to know the connection right now. So this person is currently viewing Sagittarius as the hermit. Um, they definitely feel like you have isolated yourself from them. You have cut yourself out to them. You see your back is to them. They do view you as uh, gaining some, I don't know, maybe this uh, situation took a lot out of you and it caused you to go within and and they see that it, it wasn't something that you done it, that you were able to do privately. I, I, I feel like you may have wanted to do that privately as you have set your light off over here. But it was something that just kind of forced you to do this enlighten uh, this growth, and as you did, uh, in, in in enlighten and grow and heal from something, uh, it kind of like elevated you to the front 
like the front of someone's eyes without even trying. Let's see. Why is this person viewing Sagittarius as the hermit spirit? Thank you. So we've got the Eight of Wands. It's definitely some type of communication. They definitely value your communication. Um, okay, and then I, they, they also feel like you have detached yourself from them. Like you don't communicate with them. They miss your conversation. Um, but let's see. They definitely view you as having a wise communication. Hmm. Mm. to help them reclaim their power something they're struggling with and they view as view you as someone that can help them overcome this spirit show me more why is this person viewing sagittarius as the hermit the oh the ace of cups so the Eight of Cups, okay. I mean, the Eight of Swords, okay. Hmm. I do. I feel like that you have closed off communications with this person. And... Uh, uh, There's also this element of them needing some type of communication. There's, okay, there's something that this person wants to communicate as it pertains to a child. Whether this be the child is here yet, or with this spiritual transformation card clarifying the Page of Swords, and then we got the child card here. There's something about um, a previous com conversation you guys have had about um, a new a new life new new love and how it would feel and this person is 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 wanting some information from you regarding that but they don't um want to come right out and ask you about it okay they're definitely trapped in their head trying to wait on the right opportunity to ask for it looky here man oh man oh man they're in their head about it there's something that you guys have had a conversation about in the past that they're trying to figure out how to ask you about it because something feels off. And we'll take that as it resonates. Spirit said, nope. Um, there's, there's, uh, let me get one thing before I say that. I feel like that there's a question around this. There's a question around that. Can you just tell me if I can uh, clarify the thoughts that, that I'm having? Spirit, can you please clarify this for me? Before I run my mouth. Yep. Um, with the bear card here, yeah, they, there's. Um, it it could be to do with something to do with money, but I I also feel as if it has to do with um. I don't know, guys. I don't want to say that. It'll cut if it comes back up in the reading. We'll discuss it for sure because I want to get it. I feel like somebody needs it, but I don't want to jump the gun and make it too much of a main storyline. So let's move forward, guys. Sorry about that. So how they feel about you is the judgment, and the judgment card as feelings means that someone is beginning to understand that this connection was more than just some random fling. Um, With this Five of Pentacles in this Hermit card in the same spread within four cards, I feel like that there was this element of ghosting like this. And even if this person didn't ghost you all the way, this this person sure enough shortchanged you. 
this person sure enough didn't give you your didn't feed into this connection and um i feel like that this person is like seeing that like they're they're seeing the true value of who you were in their life spirit can you please clarify the judgment for how this person is feeling about sagittarius why is the judgment here for this person's feelings mm. so we have the six of swords the king of pentacles and the two of pentacles um, this person is absolutely reevaluating their decision to move off into another direction with someone else. Sorry. Someone else is like they're, uh, oh, this person feels as if, I don't know, it's, it, it, it's like, they definitely want to know if you've moved on with someone else. They do. Wow. Wow. This person is not happy where they're at. They're not. They're not happy at all where they're at. And it's almost as if that where they went off to is their karma. There's an imbalance in that connection where they went off at. And in sitting in that imbalance, it's like they're forced to, see, they're learning the lesson about a spiritual connection. They are, but I, it, it's like there's, there's this element of a missed opportunity. I'm gonna say it, I also feel like this person isn't sure that either the person, either there was a lost pregnancy where they're at like someone lost a child and my condolences if that's the case or there is a pregnancy and someone in this connection is concerned about where the uh, someone's in their mind about that pregnancy there's something in their head about that pregnancy and then we even have the five of swords which was behind the Five of Cups. There is some regret. There's some major regret. It's like someone turned their back on an abundant situation for a shit show, real life shit show. So this person's intentions are the Five of Pentacles. This person I feel like wants to come in out of the cold. This person wants to make things right it's like but there's a level of shame and um humiliation here um uh, so it's like so how does someone come back with a like without their tail fully tucked between their legs right let's see spirit wise this person's intentions the five of pentacles can you clarify this yeah Three of Pentacles. I'm gonna. Yeah, this person wants they. This person does. They want to work. They want to work together. They want to collaborate. They want to take a leap of faith. But at this point in time, because of decisions that they made in the process of transitioning away from you, of leaving you behind, the karma, the consequences. There has they have to balance another situation like there's another situation that has to be balanced out, and that like to to balance that situation out. I feel as if this person does have to go through a level of financial hardship, like material hardship, because there was something very materialistic about this person. Um, but uh, this person does want to collaborate now, and uh. Is is they definitely can't afford it? <laughs> like this person, def. Let me say that. Let me let me not say that because uh, sorry guys. Um, it's almost as if this person left you in better conditions than what they are returning to you. I keep checking my nails. I keep feeling like I got to groom myself and shit. I don't care if my nails is dirty right now. Not, 
uh, done a million and one things before I found the time to sit down and record this reading, including putting my children to bed, bathing them, washing dishes, you know what I'm saying? But I still feel the need to keep grooming and sitting there and explaining myself. So there is an element of this person that feels like when they come back, they, they know that they left you in better conditions than they are returning. And there's an element of shame to that. Looky here, damn. This explains every bit of what the explanation I just gave you about me feeling like I'm constantly grooming myself. Uh, this, look at here. This person knows that they're out of, like, like I, I'm not who I used to be. I, I got, I, I, I had to level down. And this person is defensive around that, very defensive and guarded around that. The nine of wands to the seven of wands, both guarded energy. Uh, this person is wounded. They're, they don't feel as if they're the, they are. There's when, once a divine masculine, always a divine masculine, period. Once a divine feminine, always a divine feminine, period. But there is this element of, uh, the universe will cloud your vision to your true identity based upon the life that you had decided to live. So until you clean that mess up, uh, your, you, your true, your true identity is hidden. One of my favorite movies guys is the, uh, the Odyssey. And because he is forced to see, um, his decisions for questioning a uh, Poseidon and when he comes, once he takes on that long journey, he is forced to come back and to be disguised to see at the way that things have played out. And, and it's not until the right moment that is he to reveal his true identity. This person's true identity has been hidden for them for the choices that they made. And they have to rectify some things. Go check out the movie Odyssey. There may be some key jewels for you there it's, it's a hidden gem if i might say uh let's move forward to uh the likely outcome is the ace of wands i do feel like that there is a potential for um, a fresh start here like i said in the first part it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys come back together in this romantic element i don't necessarily feel that um i feel like a whole lot of damage was done even though the ten of swords isn't out here um, but I do feel like that there is this element of being able to cycle up to the next level of this divine connection because I do feel like it's a powerful connection. I do feel like that this is um, kind of like a student teacher, but not necessarily because it's I feel like there is an element of romance here. There is an element of passion here, but it's almost as if... Um, <clears throat> Your the uh, whereas it's a romantic connection at one point in time, it's now ascended into a, a a a. I don't really know the right words to call it, but it's definitely mentor. Like I don't know, that's the best word that I can come up with at the moment. Let's see, what is this Ace of Wands here for Sagittarius and this person for the likely outcome? out of here Sagittarius you might you might two aces four ones definitely I definitely feel um, uh, you might get a new beginning with this person you might get a first a clean slate with this person uh, a, 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 a like I can't even speak. That's my foundation card. As um, her name is slipping my mind. I like her too. She did a four uh, and every day she uploaded for thirty days. Boy, the 
ambition that took. Why can't I? Tarot of love. To love tarot. I'm going to have to tag her down below, but she calls this her restart button. And this is uh, my fresh newbie energy. I do. I feel like you get a fresh slate, a fresh start with this person. And uh, like there's a compromise to it. There is a compromise to it. Um, I, like I said, it may not necessarily be romantic. With the Page of Cups here, it may not start out romantic. And I, I almost advise you not to take it romantic, especially with me getting this energy of feeling like this person view, is viewing Sagittarius as like this mentor energy, like the person with the wisdom. So like I would advise you not to take it to a romantic level because um you know uh it's it's one of those like it's one of those really where never meet your hero because they'll always disappoint you energy so it's like this person is really looking for answers in life and answers that they feel like that you have they have questions in life and they feel like that you have the answers to those questions and um so they may romanticize that so there's this energy of stepping up to the leader position, actually filling the role of who they envision you to be and really this, you setting the boundaries for where this connection goes to. But I do feel like that you get an opportunity to have a fresh start with this person. I'm just not sure it's in a romantic sense. I almost like... I feel a strong urge to continue to say, don't take it to a romantic level. Um, there's a, this is a new beginning. I mean, hell, you got three aces here, damn. You're def this person is definitely looking for some truth and clarity and Two, 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 two on the clock, guys. This person is definitely looking for truth and clarity there. Um, and, 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 and that's not there yet. It's not here yet. It's not here yet. And so at this time, just share and communicate your wisdom with this person and take your time. And, 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 and it, it could ascend to something more. It could be something that is like, yeah, I don't have this person when pigs fly, you know. Well, pigs may actually fly one day. Not today. Not right now on this journey. But those pigs might actually fly. But only if you allow yourself to really work through this over time. And don't force yourself to work it all out in one day just to get that big jump. Because I do, I feel like it'll fall flat. There's a lot of page energy here. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. That's the Page of Pentacles missing. So you see what I'm saying? The Ace of Swords is missing. The Page of Pentacles is missing. There's something to be learned. There's clarity and truth that is missing from here. And it's and, 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 and it's, it's going to take the both of you two to interact and to communicate clearly, to really find that truth and that clarity and to stay focused and diligent on the mission and not so much getting lost in the passion and the loving here, okay? Alrighty, Sagittarius, I pray that this was a helpful extended version to part one. Um, if you like these messages, give us a thumbs up down below, especially if you like more of these messages pieced together in one, because I do look forward to dropping some deep extended readings, but only when you guys give me the feedback, let me know what is helpful to you all. Alrighty, Sagittarius, and in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Loving light, guys.